Hey there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours and for really whenever this resonates with you. Um, I am going to pick an oracle card out first and then we are going to draw your reading using the Osho Zen tarot and I'll use the smaller uh, tarot to clarify. So call them in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self to get higher power to give uh, messages for your greater good for your highest timeline this is the inner child oracle from etsy's store you are going in the right direction it says well that's nice gemini that's always good to know from spirit that you know you're going in the right direction there's no real way to know that's true, but this could be confirmation for you. It says sometimes it might seem like you're lost or going in circles, but remember, Spirit is always here for you. Remember, Spirit is always here for you and that you are truly on your right path, on the right path for you. All right, so if we can get messages for Gemini, please, for Gemini. Other than knowing that this is the right direction for them. Okay, what is their issue? What's the issue for Gemini? Issue, I have the lovers and intensity. All right. The lovers and intensity. Something might be picking up. Something might be becoming more t in, like intense or moving faster lately. I feel like this is the challenge how to get it to get something moving. Somebody from the past could have come back to. And this could be an extra person, like, as a challenge to deal with in this situation. Totally different for all different people. Um, Gemini, this is also indicating a big choice, like, at a crossroads. Leo, Leo Aries, Sagittarius, mainly Leo for um, the challenge there. So, Gemini. Let's see. What do you have for the heart of the matter? So, what's the heart of the matter here? What do we got? All right. Ah, courage in the reverse. Courage in the reverse. So we have the ability to overcome something um, that we don't feel like we can. We have the ability to overcome something that we do not feel like we can right now. And um, yeah, you can though. Past energy, past energy. This could be Leo energy, by the way, as this could be the um, strength card, you know. So three of cups in the reverse could have been a third party situation or some situation where you overdid it when it comes to going out. Um, yeah, with friends. and I mean, you just overdid it with this card. Um, over drinking, over something um, with the abundance and then with the celebration. Could have been third party to, like I said, could it's something with friends. Um, okay, the uh, page of wands is the now. It's the now card. It it looks kind of like this to like this challenge here, doesn't it? But maybe it's that uh, passionate new beginning. Maybe that's the, like a good news card coming in for you. Like good news coming in, you know? Could be. Page of Wands. Nice. Okay, so what is the near future energy for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? I have three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's that really headstrong energy, Gemini, of I'm going to get this done. It's almost like the same message that Libra had. Like, with or without you, you know that song, with or without you, it's like, yeah, I still haven't found what I'm looking for with or without you. And I'm not saying that that is part of your, 
your um, message, but <laughs> with or without you, meaning that you're going to get something done no matter what, even if you have to do it by yourself. Um, there's something that you want, and I think that that is the want or desire coming out here. Okay, so how do you feel about all of this? You feel a little guilty for the pleasures that you're wanting in your life, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is kind of being too, you know, um, too judgy on yourself, too judgmental on yourself or hard on yourself. The nine of swords in the reverse is the energy in your circumstances around your environment, which is meaning the energy is trying to help you release and let go of worry and um, anything like that that you can give to your spirit team to help. They can help carry your baggage. Um, sometimes you can't take it with you. Sometimes you just can't take your baggage with you. Some experiences in life require you to drop it. Or there comes the tower and then you're forced to drop it, you know. It's like you should have given those bags to the angels. Well, you could have. No, I'm just kidding. You probably could still now. Hermit, aloneness is the fear because it's in the, it is in the hope too because it's a journey that you would take on your own to find your star, which is that, that's that light inside of you that you end up using as a lantern here to guide your way. You end up finding your own inner light in this journey by yourself through a very shadowy time, dark areas. And you navigate through that. And you get through that. And you never truly, though, are alone. Even though it says alone, you never, never truly are alone. Remember that. Maybe tired. Six of swords on the bottom indicating you need to get away from other people's roles and expectations that they are placing you in. That is not you. You are not the role. You are not the story. Wow. Wow. There's your outcome. Something is, okay, the thing that's not going to work is trying to carry all these, it's like I said with that story, it's like I'm imagining a person carrying all these baggages, you know, like carrying all these things, to, and it looks like it could trip them up. It looks like it's really horrible to weigh this person's energy field down right well it ends up not working because it's not integrated correctly we're not integrating we're not releasing we have to let go of these um so the energy right now is offering you a chance to let go easily of this um heavy overworked energy and integrate it. So take, I would take them up on that offer and go ahead and integrate that. Your Ace of Swords, the information that you need. Um, yeah, it's your, it will be your uh, triumph here. Let's see. Tarot, got anything else to add? Um, regular Tarot here. Anything else to add? <clears throat> Seven of Cups. In the past, so it was, it was either um, unclear thinking in the past due to misguided judgment because of being influenced, like party. I think that it could be overdoing drugs, alcohol, something like that. Or the many choices and something was maybe not that great of a choice. Okay, anything else? Okay. <laughs> There's three of pentacles on top of the three of pentacles. In the reverse again, double confirmation that you're going to do something by yourself or with someone else. It doesn't matter. You're going to do it anyway. Knight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles in the uh, environment is, like I said, this energy has to offer you something grand. It's to help assist you through this change to integrate and take your baggages so that you don't have to carry them Um because you won't make it doing that all yourself. Okay, Gemini, Wheel of Fortune. Good good things turning for you at this crossroads, this junction in your life, this particular time in your life. It is spinning. Um, you're on the top of the wheel. Look, somebody else got booted off for you to get in the top. So that's how it goes. 
That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Oh, there's your tower. There's your tower, but like I said, sometimes it's a good tower. Sometimes it's a tower to get us moving. Teardrops, great personal sorrow, and I do I think that fits in with that past position. Tower, solid foundation, and success with effort. It's You're building it by yourself. You're doing this. The key, successful outcome to your problems. And is this nice diamond? You will be giving or receiving a precious gift. It may be that higher consciousness and taking this. Or you may accept an offer from somebody in your surrounding environment to help share some of the load um, of life's up and downs, ebbs and flows. <laughs> so that's what I got for you. Thanks, guys. Have a nice week. Bye, Gemini.